Martin Truex Jr. says he's going to do the Daytona 500 plus more races in 2025. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Martin Truex Jr. is apparently going all Jordan Belfer and Wolf of Wall Street saying, I'm not going effing anywhere. Well, at least not until the second week of the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series season, because it sounds like he's going to run the Daytona 500. At least that's what he told Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he went on the Dale Jr. download uh, on Wednesday. He said, quote, looks like it's almost a guarantee that I'll run the Daytona 500. Still have to get it figured out, but shouldn't get it hard to wrap up. And I put the clip in here, but Mike Davis protects Dirty Mo Media content like, well, Teresa Earnhardt protects DEI trademarks at this point and honestly i just don't want to get that strike against me so you can go listen to the podcast it's right after the eight minute mark right around the eight minute and 20 second mark where he talks about the daytona 500 and going back to run that of course martin Truex jr is retiring from full-time nascar cup series racing at the end of the 2024 season chase briscoe will, will replace him in 2025 for Truex, though, obviously he's won a cup series championship in 2017 he's got 34 nascar cup series victories at the moment to his credit he's a guy that has been an absolute stalwart of the sport since he came in with DEI back in 2007 at this point. And the guy's been around for a long time. And it sounds like he just wants to go do some fishing. I mean, when Dale talked to him, he was up in New Jersey getting ready to go fish for tuna. So yeah, I don't think the guy's priority necessarily is racing at the moment. But he did go on to talk about his other plans for 2025, and he's going to be doing some Xfinity Series races. And you can also listen to the podcast to get that, because again, not putting the clip in here, because Mike Davis is out here being the evil empire of, of NASCAR content, which I get. I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying that's why I can't put the clip in here, uh, because he'll strike it immediately, like their NASCAR productions, although they have gotten way better about it. Regardless, Martin Truex Jr. said that he's going to do Xfinity races next year, whether that's two or three or five or six, that remains up in the air. He also mentioned that he would be open to doing a bit of a ride share with his brother, Ryan Truex Jr., and helping him be able to continue on the in the Xfinity series. And honestly, I think a bit of that is happening this year, and people are going to be like, well, that's nepotism. Yeah, I mean, the same way that Bronny Jr. just got uh, put onto the Lakers because his dad's on the team. That's why Ryan's going to be put onto the TRD roster. But Ryan, of course, has won two Xfinity Series races. Hats off to him. Definitely, definitely on talent alone. Deserves to be in the Xfinity Series. It's just unfortunate that they don't have the budget behind them or with him to be able to get that done. But if Martin can help, you know, by running a few races, get his brother into more rides, I don't have a problem with that at all. I mean, there's certainly worse people in this series that are buying rides that should absolutely not be in the rides that they're in. And for a guy like Ryan sitting on the sidelines, you know, sucks because we've seen him now in back-to-back -back seasons win a NASCAR Xfinity Series race. And if every race was at Dover, he could maybe go 33 for 33. Uh, unfortunately, it's not, but I would still like to see him be able to run a full Xfinity Series season at some point. Martin also goes on to talk about how he could potentially even run some Truck Series races in 2025 as well. He has three Truck Series starts to his credit right now. Two of those came back in the early 2000s. And then this other one came in 2021 when he ran the Bristol Dirt Race, went to victory lane. Dale completely forgot about that, which honestly... It makes sense because that first Bristol dirt race for the truck series was just a uh, it got delayed, pushed the next day. Not the best race that we've ever seen. But for Martin, um, picking up a dirt win was huge for him, helped him uh, definitely figure out dirt racing in a sense. But to have him come back and run truck series would be cool, too, because I think it's fine when these retired veterans want to come back and run these races, Dale included in that. And they, you know. They have a level of racecraft, a level of maturity, and a level of experience that a lot of these lower series guys just don't have. And for the younger guys to be able to learn off of that and be like, oh, hey, I don't have to absolutely run through a guy to, to get that position. I can, you know, move him out of the way with air or just pass him in general, like how more most people in the Cup Series are doing it, not named Carson Hostovar or some others. But for, for Martin, I'm happy to see that he's going to continue on racing. Obviously, he made the... Um, comparison during the interview with Dale Jr. saying that it's just time to get off the hamster wheel, like just constantly running with no end in sight. And that's kind of what the Cup Series schedule has begun or become. And even Dale mentioned that when he got out of the car, you know, not even 10 years ago at this point, what they had to do during the week versus what the drivers have to do now during the week is just completely different. And there's so much more expected out of a driver during the week than there previously was. So for Martin, it's just kind of seems like a work-life balance type of thing. And I think anybody that works a job completely understands that. Um, at some point, you know, the amount of hours you're working just doesn't really fit your lifestyle anymore. And you start to question, like, is it worth it? I kind of want to enjoy other things in life. And if you want to work 80 hours a week, like, that's cool. But that's not everybody's prerogative at the end of the day. So for Martin, 
happy to see that he's going to come back. Obviously, that Cup Series ride, expect that to be with 2311 Racing, likely a fourth entry from them. And that should really help out the Toyotas at the end of the day. I mean, that's now bolsters them up to potentially 10, maybe 11 cars in the Daytona 500 for for next year. And that's a that's a stout uh, offering that they could potentially be bringing, especially as manufacturer you know alliances on the drafting tracks become more and more for them. That could work out really well. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, in the Xfinity series, expect that to be Joe Gibbs Racing, and the Truck series expect that to probably be Tricon, since that's now the number one TRD team over there as well. But. Martin Shrex Jr. coming back to do more races in 2025, and I think that's a good thing. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.